Hello kids. If you don't know my face, my name is Ariel and I'm new here. So I'm so excited to get to know all of you, but now I'll have to get to know you through the camera. I'm really, really excited for when you do come. Um, but today I'll be giving you a message. Actually, I'll be telling you a story. So this story is not like any other story. This story is called a parable. Now what a parable is, are stories that Jesus used to tell the crowds around him so that they understand his message a little bit better. So in these parables, he'd compare one thing to another so that they would understand what he is trying to tell them. The parable I want to tell you today is called the parable of the two builders. It goes something like this. This parable is found in Matthew chapter 7, verses 24 to 26. So Jesus tells the crowd in front of him, and this applies to us too, but he was speaking to a crowd. He tells them that there was once a wise man. This wise man decided to build a house. He took all his material and built this house on a rock. Everything went well, the house was beautiful, it was stunning, and then the rain came. It was a crazy storm. The floods started rising, the wind was blowing. It was crazy and insane. And you know what happened to the house? Nothing. The house stood strong and firm because it was built on top of something that was strong and firm. The second person that Jesus spoke about was the foolish man. So this man, you'll understand just now why he's foolish, but he decided to build his house on sand. That sounds like a cool thing, right? Like on the beach, it's easier to build. You don't have to have like some kind of hard work to build the foundation, but no. This man decided he's going to do it on the sand. So he starts putting his material together. He builds this amazing house, so beautiful. And then it starts raining. The winds came, the floods came. Everything was a bit crazy. It was a crazy, crazy storm. And you know what happened to this foolish man's house? The house fell apart completely. His house didn't survive because it was not built on something strong. So, what was Jesus trying to tell the people in front of him, as well as us today, in these two stories? To explain this parable, Jesus was trying to tell these people, this crowd of people, that he is the rock, he is the strong foundation, and our lives are the houses. So, if we follow the instructions of Jesus, if we love him every day, if we obey his word, uh, if we just fall in love with everything that he has to tell us, that is the same as building our house on the rock, on something strong. And when hard things come, the storm and the rain, that's the example that he was giving, the hard things of life, when they come, we will be able to stand strong because Jesus is the best foundation, the best thing we can build our lives upon. But when it comes to the foolish man, what Jesus was describing the sand as is everything in life that does not include Jesus. Everything in life that causes us worry, that causes us tiredness and um, just things that don't focus on God and what He says in His Word. These things are weak foundations. And when hard things in life come, we cannot have our houses or our lives on these weak foundations. So the best thing to do, what Jesus is encouraging us to do every day, is to continue to build our lives on Him, on His truth, on His instruction, on His Word, and on relationship with Him. So, how do we do this? It all sounds like a good thing to do, but we need practical stuff, right? I'm gonna give you three things that I think will be very helpful. Firstly, we can learn to we can learn to just trust Jesus a bit more by knowing about Him. So when we know about Jesus, we get to know Him as He is. So we learn about Jesus through His Word and through the Bible. So that's the first thing you can do. Go into the Bible and learn more about who Jesus is. Firstly, you'll discover how cool He is. He's amazing, He's loving, He's kind, and He's all powerful and He can hold your life together. The second thing we can do is we can spend time with Jesus by praying and just spending time with His presence. That means being still. I talk a lot, like a lot, a lot. 
But sometimes when I sit with Jesus and I pray, He encourages me to just be still and be quiet and remember that He is in control. So through prayer and through sitting in His presence and just getting to know Him, telling Him everything that's on your heart, bringing everything to Him, whether it's a sad story or a happy story and everything in between, that's how we get to build relationship with Jesus in His presence. And lastly, doing the right thing and following Jesus every day is not easy because the life, life is full of things that throw things at us, um, things that are distracting and things that are worrying and all of these crazy things come at us when we live our lives. But we have Jesus and we have His Spirit inside of us that guides us not only towards following His Word, but towards loving and being passionate about Him. So if you are distracted by life, ask Jesus to help you. It's that simple. You can just pray and say, Jesus, help me love your word. Jesus, help me love you. And he is not just willing, but able to help you. I hope these are helpful. Think about this during the week. What are the things that are distracting you from building your life on Jesus? Maybe write one thing down and find out how you can change that and make the Bible and Christ Jesus the foundation of all you do.